Hello all, welcome back. And today we are going to solve the reduce function problem of HackerRank. So let's just first understand what is the input of this function. The input for this function will be an integer that uh, simply uh, says how many number of fraction numbers we will have. So we will have three fraction numbers for this particular example. And then we have uh, input as one space two. So that will be one by two. And the second input is three space four and that will be three by four. And the third input is 10 space six, which will be 10 by six. So what do we want? What do we want actually? Uh, we want the product of all the fractions. We multiply one by two into three by four into 10 by six. This way, we want the product of all fractions. We want the product of all fractions and the result should be in the simplest form. The result should be in the simplest form. Now, in order to solve this question, we need to understand the working of two functions. The first function is a fraction function and the second function is the reduce function. So let me just uh, go uh, take you through the working of reduce function and the fraction function. I'm going to use my Jupyter notebook for that. So let's go. So let's talk about fraction function. We need to import that fraction function first. So we import it from the fraction module from fraction import fraction. So what happens this fraction function accepts a number or accepts two numbers for example x comma y x as the numerator and y as the denominator. So let's say sample let's say val value one equals to fraction and I write one comma two and if I run it and then I print the value of value one. So we get one by two. We get the number. We get the value in the fraction form. We get the value in the fraction form. So let's say now we know that one by two is the simplest form. We cannot further reduce one by two. So let's say I write a value which can be further reduced in the form of fraction. Value is equals to fraction. Let's say three. Uh, you can write in this way as well. Three by nine instead of comma. You can write three by nine. This will also work. So the answer of value two should be one by three because three into three is nine. So the lowest form will be one by three. So let's uh, write value two. Okay, I guess I did a mistake. Okay, you cannot write that way. I'm really sorry about that. You cannot write that way. Uh, so now you can see the three comma nine is basically uh, showing the fraction form the lowest fraction is one by three now what if you want to extract the numerator part and the denominator part so this value object this value object has two attributes one is for numerator and other is for denominator so in order to extract the numerator you write value two dot numerator and then you get the numerator and if you want a denominator you get value two denominator so you get the denominator. So this is the working for fraction function. This is the working for fraction function. Now let's talk about now let's talk about reduce function. So first we need to import that as well. So the reduce function comes from the func tools module from func tools import reduce. Now in order to make you understand the actual power of reduce function, I'm going to create a sample list sample underscore list equals to one comma two comma three comma four and what I'm going to do I'm going to loop over this list and I'm going to sum of all the elements of this list. So let's create a dummy variable count equals to zero for value sorry for val n uh, sample underscore list count plus equals to value and then I write print val. So the answer will be 10. So the answer will be oh sorry. So the answer will be 10 print count. Okay, so just imagine what we have done here is basically we have created a dummy variable and then we loop over the list and then element by element we add it to the count variable. So we add one to the count variable the count value becomes one then we add two to the count variable and the count variable already had one. So one plus two is three. So that way three plus three is six and six plus four is 10. But with the help of reduce function, you can do this in one line. 
with the help of reduce function you can do this in one line so how do we use reduce function so reduce function the syntax of reduce function is it accepts two parameters first it accepts a function which we want to apply and a sequence on which we want to apply the function so you need a function and a sequence so the list we have the list we have created let me just print that list sample underscore list so let's say i want to sum of all the elements in the list with the help of reduce function so i write reduce then i create a lambda function lambda x comma y such that x plus y this is the function i want in the reduce function this is the function i'm passing then i want a sequence on which i will apply this function so i pass sample underscore list and i'm going to run this so you get 10 but how do we get 10 actually so first of all what happens this one passes to x and this two passes to y then x plus y gets summed up obviously x plus y we, we will get 3 1 plus 2 is 3 then this summed up value gets passed into x and this three, the successive value gets passed into y. So now we have three plus three is six. So the final value is six. This six value gets into x and the successive value, which is four gets into y. And this, then we get six plus four, which is 10. So we get the answer is 10. So what happens? Lambda function applies the function, which we passes cumulatively over a sequence, cumulatively element by element till the time it reaches at the end of the sequence so let's say what i want let's say i want the product of these elements instead of sum so i just need to write i just need to write star instead of plus so i get the element i get the product of all the elements so actually this is the answer to our hacker rank problem this is this uh, one line is the answer to a hacker rank problem so let me just copy this and then I paste it over here and instead of sample list, I pass this list. This is a list. So I pass this list and then I hit the run button. Okay. So we passed the first test case. Now let's talk about the other test cases. Okay. So we passed all the test cases and our code was absolutely right. So I hope you were able to understand the working of fraction and reduce function because those were the basics those were the uh, concrete basics that you needed for this problem and um, i hope you enjoyed the solution so please like share and subscribe thank you so much and have a great day